Hello everyone, welcome back to MGN. Um, I am Ovila. I am an angel. And uh, this video is special because we're going to talk a little bit about reactors. You know, they have labeled us reactors. Do we have a problem with that? I personally don't at all. One, I think it's a very cool name. <laughs> it's like the Terminator, the reactor, you know, that's very cool. Um, two, I feel like reactors are just this new wave of um, TV, um, TV shows. Like, Entertainment commentators. Exactly. A little bit, if you will, like Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Kimmel. I mean, if you think about it, those guys have big production, but the, what they do essentially, they entertain um, their public and they invite personalities that, um, you know, uh, the, 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 the personalities advertise their work on the, those platforms. So what they do as well is watch clips of the product and react to it and then talk about it after afterward just like we do. Mm -hmm. And they get paid a oh, lot. Tons of money. So you can bet they're only going to say positive things. Yes, we will address the uh, money money situation in this video as well. We'll tell you all about it. We'll tell you all about what uh, our steps basically. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I think Reactors is very cool. It's just YouTube and the internet basically is allowing the little people, you know, to, to be able to do what those big names do, you know, the Jimmy Kimmel's of the world. So I, we are very grateful to YouTube, very grateful to the internet. We're very grateful to uh, the community that supports this. And I believe yeah, that- Yeah, clearly if, if there is a community, if there's an audience, it's obviously because people want to see this. Yeah. If it was something that nobody wanted, none of these reactors would have an audience, would have subscribers, would have a following. Mm -hmm. So obviously there is a demand for this kind of entertainment. Absolutely. So obviously there's going to be supply. It's yeah. a natural thing. There is something positive in here. That's why people actually are interested. Um, you know, there are different types of reactors. What we do is really... Yeah, what really... sets us apart? What would you say sets? Yeah, what sets us MGN apart? Apart is that not only do we react, but we also try to learn and grow. We are not staying static, you know? That is why we um, split our videos. Because, one, um, people want some people want to see just the reaction and some people want to see just the thoughts some people want to see both mm -hmm. yes two because this is a job this is literally a job i have two jobs i wake up in the morning at 5 30 in the morning i go to my work i have to be there at 7 i leave work around 3 30 uh, i get here around 4 4 30 then i sit down and i edit videos until six, seven, then I have to render them while doing something else. And by the time I have to go to bed around 9.30, uh, I try to put, you know, the, after the rendering, I have to put the videos on YouTube, upload them, you know, enter all the details, all the info, keywords. keywords. So by the time I go to bed, I just have like, what, five minutes to really chill, then do nothing. And my girlfriend right here gets pissed at me because I have like no time for her. Because even when those, during the rendering time, even when he yeah. is maybe sitting on the couch with me and we're going to watch something, he's on his phone answering all of the comments that he can in the comment section. Yes. So he really is in charge of MG and the Echo, his projects, because it is his project. I'm just a co-host, but... He really is always working, so... Because I really do believe that I, I want to create, create a community. Exactly. That's why I communicate, I f make people feel included in MGN, you know? Yes. That's why it's successful and it's growing well at a steady pace. Right. 
Um, so yeah, it and, is. Uh, people ab- appreciate it clearly yeah, because absolutely. we're seeing a growing audience. We're seeing very faithful and loyal subscribers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We see you guys. We hear you guys. So it clearly is working. And you would agree. It. You want your money. Well, not your money specifically, but yeah, you want your money to go to things you believe in, right? To things that bring value to your life. So. I'm just addressing the fact that some people are like, oh, there's people out there making money off of content that I'm consuming. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? Don't you want people, the people who, to, don't you want those who are making the money to be the people that you support who are giving you something back? You don't mm-hmm. want your money to go to like politicians who sh- shove most of it in their pocket and they left, leave you behind, let's say, for example. Or yeah. companies with who make such profit on things, on products that could be a lot cheaper, you know? And here, you're not even giving money out of your own pocket yeah. to see the content that reactors are providing. Mm-hmm. You just basically watch the um, the commercials at the beginning of a video or at the if end. Anything, and anything, yeah. And that gives us a little money. So Thanks let me, to Google AdSense and exactly. so the YouTube let, partnership. Let us explain to them how this monetization works. Yes. Okay, so the reaction video, the, the reaction part one that we do, so we watch uh, a con- content from other people, right? Um, if we don't edit it, then we cannot monetize the video. The, the, the video is not monetized, we don't get anything. And that is why we don't get copyright strikes, because a lot of people are asking, oh, how do you manage not to get copyright strike on your channel? Because we respect the YouTube guidelines and rules. Um, but if we edit the video that we're watching, that gives us the possibility to monetize it. Sometimes we can fully monetize the video and sometimes we can share the, the monetization. Revenue. Yeah, the revenue. Um, but our uh, thoughts, reaction part two, it's 100% our content so we can monetize it fully. And at first it was really just a test to see if people were watching our channel just for uh, the content that we were watching or if it was really because they were interested in what we had to say, you know, what we brought to the table, the plus thing, you know? And we are very happy to notice that people actually care about what we think. Yes, the reaction part one usually has more views, but the fact that reaction part two, hashtag thoughts, has half of what the first one has, or even more, is incredible. And that's how you learn, you know, that's how you learn. Um, so yeah, that's how uh, we, we monetize. And, you know, as we grow, you can also expect maybe a little sponsorship here and there, you know, very quick, because it helps us develop the channel, invest in our um, in our tools and equipment mm-hmm. to just make everything better. And also maybe... Uh, quit our jobs, day jobs, so that we can do this full time. Because a lot of you keep asking us to release more than one video a day, but that is a lot of work and it needs, actually, it needs energy, but time. It's time that we don't have, not really effort, because the effort, we can find it because we love this, we love doing this. So that's not a problem for me, at least. So... I just need time. So if I have money, you know, to eat on the side, um, I will definitely quit and just do this, you know, and make it bigger and diversify the content and all that, you know, maybe even open a second YouTube channel. Who knows? We'll see. So that's the uh, money side of, uh, of things. Um, yes, uh, we, we, I mean, we hear a lot of people talk about reactors, blah, blah, blah. We have thick skin. I mean, I have a very thick skin. I don't really care about what people say or what people do. do. I know my value, so I just go for it. I go 150%. I want to create an MGN community that is very positive because there's already so much hate in the world and we don't know. We do not need more. And music, you know, we do a lot of music because, well, one, we are artists, so we've been doing this for a while. And two, because music is usually very positive and it is universally loved, it's the universal language. So it just brings people together and that's a beautiful thing. Woo! I'm, 
I've talked a lot there. Uh, yes, yes. What else? So yeah, I love the the reactor term. I love the reactor term. I don't know. I have nothing against it. Yeah, no. I don't even know why it would be an issue. Why it would have a negative connotation? Yeah. To react to something and then share your opinion. Like I said, if people didn't care, there wouldn't be any views, right? There wouldn't yeah. be any subscribers. So obviously, people are interested. And and you guys, you know, a, a lot of you said, you know, noticed that yes, we do have so much more views on our Filipino and Indian videos, for example, or Italian. Yeah, because you know the percentages change a lot, but that does not stop us from um, reacting to. A variety of uh, music, movies, video games. Yeah, it's not just uh, about the views, really. It's yeah, so like our Throwback Thursdays. Oh my God, Throwback Thursdays don't get much views, but we don't care because it makes us so, so happy. happy. Yeah, it's a change of pace. It's something exactly. that we really can bond over. You mm -hmm, know, it's mm -hmm. so much fun. And then, what's wrong with giving people what they want? Also? Exactly. Because exactly. if uh, our Filipino audience and our Korean or Italian audience mm -hmm. are asking us to do reaction videos. Videos. And we see that those videos do uh, are very profitable for us. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't we? <laughs> it's a win-win situation. So it, of course it, we're inclined to do those videos, yeah, there to produce is, those videos. Yeah, there is still a side of it's like a transaction, you know. It's like we. I mean, it's it's a, yeah, it's like everything in life. Mm -hmm, exactly. Win-win scenarios are what everyone gravitates towards. So there's no problem with it. It's. It's good, right? Yeah, I mean, it's like anything else. Uh, you know, people who do uh, video game walkthroughs, they are using other people's content to, you know, get subscribers, followers, likes, comments, and of course, money. This is just the new era. You have to embrace it. The internet changed the world radically. Yeah, like, uh, you know, what's his name? Is it PewDiePie? Yeah, PewDiePie. Mm -hmm. I don't really know what he does, but from what I gather, he does video game walkthroughs. Yes, that that's how he started, yes. Okay, so yeah. now he's doing something else. Yeah, he does whatever he wants to now because he's very popular. He right. has no uh, money problems. He also, I mean, I've heard that, you know, he helped charities and he donated money and everything. So it's good. It's good, you know? Yeah. It's, it's wonderful. Well... I guess what I was trying to mention is that, yeah, there, there you go. One of YouTube's biggest celebrities who started by playing games. Yeah, by playing video games. And people want to watch him play games and comment, right? So... I also, I feel like... I also started this channel because I felt like people want to, to feel connected. Exactly. You know, so... Uh, connected by this thing that we all love. Well, it could be music videos, it could be uh, movies. So you're like watching, you feel like you're with a friend, you know, because now with the internet, unfortunately, has positives, but also the negatives is that we don't spend quality time physically with people. Yeah. So I thought, hey, this YouTube channel can give us the opportunity to spend time with people, maybe not physically, but at least, you know, through this uh, medium, you know? Yes and feel something about it yeah and i think it's uh, it's amazing and that's why also like the physical is not there but i really try to talk to you guys through the comment section through facebook through twitter so that it really feels almost physical yeah you know yeah definitely and uh, yeah i like what you're mentioning also that's also something like in our in our future we hope to like i said i'm going to open my own channel very mm -hmm. soon and have my own content it might I might have some reaction, but it might not. We also have another joint project in the works. Yeah. And we're going to open a Patreon account, uh, which I don't know if you know about it. It's basically kind of like a crowdfunding account where you guys subscribe to us uh, monetarily so that we can keep producing content for you. Mm -hmm. And we can even give you exclusive content and all that. And that's coming. Yeah. But the thing is that what's very important to me, which is something that I will talk about in my channel, is giving back to communities. So the more money we make and once we are good, once we can s settle our finances and when we get to a place where we're making an, you know, hopefully, inshallah, like you say, that's really like the goal, knock on wood. If we get really successful to the point where we have discretionary income and we can really invest, 
It's going to be in charities. It's going to be in organizations that are actually making a difference in the world. My mother runs a nonprofit organization. She's building schools uh, in Cameroon for young girls who don't have opportunities in rural areas to go to school. And those are the kind of a, a, a Organizations, those are the things that matter a lot to me. People who are out there making a difference on the ground, building homes for people who don't have homes, uh, paying off mortgages or yeah. giving money to children. Uh, uh, money, sorry. <laughs> giving food to children, real food, not junk, but feeding families that, that can't afford. Like those are the things, no offense, you guys, we all give money to celebrities and big names, but do they give back to their communities or do they take photos with orphan children for their social media likes. That's also a thing that, you know, we're real people, so we know real struggles and we we have more touch, uh, we're more in touch with the world. I don't want to speak for other people. I feel really in touch with the world. And those are also things. So when you're supporting us, you're also supporting a future that will, that will, you know, give back to you. Obviously we're going to care about what our subscribers care about because we want to invest in your communities as well. Mm -hmm. So, I just wanted to mention that, like, you're not just giving us money so that we can buy a big mansion and then uh, throw money at strip clubs and, and buy big shoes. Like, who yeah. cares? And just to add a little something on that Patreon thing, I, I thought maybe once we get to 100,000, we'd open one. And of course, because a lot of people uh, want us to deliver more content. So Patreon will be one, uh, you know, will help us do that. Yes. Um, we will deliver videos in advance to the people who uh, who wants to invest in our channel. And maybe even um, videos that only they can see. That just for them. Just for them, yeah. you know. Because they paid for it, you know. They'll feel very special. And that's awesome. Yeah. Also, uh, yes, uh, a lot of you mentioned that what MGN is doing is great because it is allowing uh, the lesser known amazing artists to be more famous, famous, you know, elsewhere in the world, like in the States, in Canada, in whatever, you know, yeah, wherever right. they watch them. We didn't even really mention that, but all of these reaction videos are advertising. Oh yeah. For the artists and the content that we are, Absolutely. we are watching. Mm -hmm. It's free advertisement for the artists themselves. Yeah. So yeah, and just so awesome. you know, you know the the money the monetization part, we don't make as much right. Now. Like I cannot live off of what I am making with YouTube. That's why I still have my other job. Okay, so it's not a huge amount. All right, just something. <laughs> That's why we are hoping to invest in it and hoping to change things up so that we can live off of it. Yeah, to have a good return. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Reactors are the best. Yes, I don't like the fact that um, they are kind of spamming um, the YouTube, the YouTube uh, sure. feed. You know, sure. they're like everywhere. You type the name of an artist, and instead of seeing the 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 video of the artist number one, you see the the reaction as number one. Sure. But I mean, that's life. I mean, people like. I mean, people might prefer watching a video with somebody else than watching it alone. That's why I guess reactors are number one, you know? Because maybe. it's more fun to watch a video with somebody else. Yeah, maybe. It's not fun to go to the movies alone usually, right? Mm, for most people it's not. Yeah, so I mean it kind of makes sense. Yeah. But you know, to each his own. Um, you yeah, know, you can't please everyone. No, you can't sure. please everyone. Um, there are a lot of reactors out there. They do things differently. Yeah, that's too. Not all reactors are the same. Yeah, obviously. We, for, for example, you know, you see us on the big on the big screen, and we put the video down here that we react to. Some of the people know they do the opposite. They put the video they react to. It's the whole big screen, and they put their face like little small face here. Hey, that's fine. It's just your choice, but we prefer it this way so that you can really connect with us. Yeah, you know? so it's more about the reaction than it is about yeah, the, the other person's content. If you want to see the original piece, the original work yeah. in all of its full glory and quality, obviously we encourage people to go to the source, to go to the uh, 
original yeah, video. The link is always down below. I yeah. always put it there. Exactly. Always. That's why we're not trying to steal their views no. at all. We're and just... I mean, if if we were trying to steal their views, I think that we, our channel would be shut down, you know, for... By now. Yeah, by now, because copyright strikes are flying out there. Like, people keep asking it's us... It's not a how, joke. <laughs> yeah, how come you don't get copyright strike? Well, we just explained it. We hmm. were careful. We follow the guidelines and the rules. That's it. As best That's we it. can and mm -hmm. as 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 we understand them because we might be wrong too we're not lawyers yeah. and some of the jargon is pretty dense but we try to do as best we can to respect the original uh artists oeuvre. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it guys i hope this was helpful to you guys yes for those of you who keep asking those recurrent questions about monetization about copyrights about you know why do you guys have two videos all of that so uh, thank you for watching yes thank you for watching do you have more comments did we not answer all of your questions mm -hmm. let us know in the comment section below you know that Ovella is going to be answering and sometimes I answer verbally and he writes it for me because you know I'm you a know princess that's how we do <laughs> and of course uh, like this video and subscribe to the MG and the Echo YouTube channel if you haven't already and if you're interested in what we're doing, if you believe in the our future, and mm -hmm. if you want us, if you want to discover new things, because that's really what we're about, right? Yeah. Discovering new artists that you wouldn't maybe on your own have stumbled upon. Well, we're trying to bring and, it to you. And also, it's like okay, so what if MGN gets shut down? You know, sure, we lose our channel, but you lose the fun, you know, that you know we bring to you every day. And I mean, it's not going to change radically our lives because we still have our day jobs that we can always go back to, you know, this is like a plus that we're trying to yeah. give to our fam and community. Yes, you know, definitely. It's like living a dream, you know, to get revenue from what you love to do. Every That's what yeah. everybody wants to do. Oh, also I forgot to mention because before we were uh, YouTubers, you know, reactors, we are first of all artists uh, known as dark light dark so light. that too I, we have no time to make music anymore because of the first job and this youtube job so hopefully once we stop our day jobs we'll be able to not only do the youtube thing but also go back to music that we can share with you guys yes that would be wonderful because our first love really is music <sighs> That's that's one of our. Um... That's my second love now, but it is. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you're my first. Aww, so cute. Um, yeah. Okay, sure. But I'm just saying, like, it. This relationship was really almost based off music. You know, yeah. it really brought us together, and I'm really happy to say that it still keeps us going. Definitely. All right, people. Yeah, yeah, you. See you on the next video. Bye. Ma salama. Um, shukriya. Uh, everything out there. All right. Peace out. Salamat. We love you. Salamat po. Um, Grazie. Gracias. You guys are Obrigada. the best. Merci. Love you.